Um, hey, Todd. Um, yeah, it looks a lot better. Um, so just a few suggestions that I hope you have some time for. I'm sorry, my nose is really stuffed up. I have really bad allergies today. I don't know why. Um, so a few suggestions. The text is very difficult to read, so I really would suggest, um, you know, using some kind of a type treatment on it, like a stroke. I would also suggest splitting the text up into three different layers. Then you can do something more, um, you know, you have more more um, freedom with it. Like you can split it up, you can move it. Um, um, you know, something like this. You can even use a couple different fonts. Notice the stroke. Um, so, you know, that's why I suggest splitting the text up. And also it's just not readable. I would probably go, you know, you could use a warm some kind of a warm color too because everything's so blue and green. If you add a little bit of a, a a warm color here and then repeat it at some place down here, it would really work to move the eye around. So um, I'm just gonna put all these in a folder because I want to move them. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so um, I would probably also suggest still working on the placement. Um, you know, just so you can see some of this stuff. Let's see what it would, it could be bigger too. Let's see. Not a lot bigger because it's so, um, but you know, this is more about the caricature than about the background and the type. So it could even get by being this big or maybe a little bit smaller. Um, you know, so the background is still kind of making it hard to see the caricature stand out. Um, so what I would suggest too is going into the background and maybe look at doing a levels adjustment or something like that. Um, you're supposed to have two anyway and, and you don't have any so you should add one anyway. I mean, you can kind of see what it looks like if it's lighter, right? Or if it's darker. So, you know, dark, this doesn't, it really doesn't show up now, right? But, but you know, so you might just want to play with this and see, you know, see what you could pull out of it. Um, other ways to make things stand out. Um, God, I hate when it does this. Um, is to go in and add layer styles. Um, you know, for example, you know, um, I'm even like on the the computer. So if you went in and then you added like a glow to it. <clears throat> You know, and if you did add a glow, I would do it with something warm because, again, you just, you have, you know, you have such, everything's really cool, if you, if you understand. So it, what it does is it just kind of works to, um, um, let's see. And again, of course, this is just theoretical here. I'm just playing around with this. Um, some people like to make it big like this and then they like to turn the opacity way down so you just see it faintly but anyway just some techniques to um, you know to just to see about you know making it stand out maybe a red would be better you know or something like that but then again if you do it down here it's gonna just make it stand out you can do it to the text too but which is fine but I really would suggest since this is simple text I've already mentioned going to Defont, but it would really help your project and your grade if you go and get a text that's more kind of appropriate for the computer thing. Um, you know, there's so many different ones. I mean, this one has 21 pages. Sci-Fi has 43 pages. You don't even have to go with anything like that. You can go with something, you know, um, this has 22 pages. It just adds more personality to it, and it doesn't just look like something that you got off your computer. Um, but again, I think the text could probably be a different color, so um, you might want to try that. Um, just because blue is really hard to read in general, this 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 shade of blue. Um, so I would probably, I don't know, I would even go with probably kind of a warmer kind of a, a tone not that I mean I mean you can go with that but I'll show you I'll put a stroke on it or something um, maybe something uh, not even that even maybe something like anyway you'll have to work with it I'm just kind of looking to see what color maybe something more like this but then again still you can see it's not legible right but if you go in and then you add um, 
a layer style and you do add a stroke or an outer glow or something like that um, of you know like something like a white or um, you can see that that makes it stand out more right but it's still you know it still needs a lot more done with it but it is a pretty big part of oh, I hate drop shadow doesn't work it is a pretty big part of your grade so you might really want to you know try to work with this the text quite a bit more um, I'm just trying to see. Um, so and you can see now now that stands out more, right? So let me turn it off. Um, do I turn the effects off? It doesn't stand out. The, the effects make it stand out. I would split it up on three, um, you know, three different lines and just move it around so it's not, you know, perfectly, um, you know, kind of symmetrical right there. Um, so another thing here, you still have another day to do this, is um, at the top of the page, be sure to look at the rubrics because... I don't know, I think you're probably going to need the points. Be sure to read all of this. You need two adjustment layers. They need to be clipped. Um, you know, I, Unique type treatment, which you don't have. You just have type. Um, so again, just read all this stuff because this is what you're, you're being graded on. And it's worth 200 points, so it's worth kind of a lot this week. Um, so the next thing I do um, is I go in and look at your masks. So I'm going to turn the background off and just zoom in. And so if I, if I see, you know, a lot of issues, you know, with the masks, well, your masks actually look pretty good from here. I mean, there's a couple little fragments you could clean up, but overall, overall it looks pretty good. Um, I'm not seeing too much. Some people don't clean their masks up at all and it looks, you know, it looks terrible, but, um, okay. So I won't go on, I won't go on any longer, but I hope, I hope you have the time to do some revisions by um, tomorrow night or Thursday morning at the latest. It'll, it'll really help your points and, and it'll help, you know, you're getting close to a portfolio piece. <clears throat> That's the most important.